So earlier tonight, I was talking to my fellow Aussie YouTuber, Steve from Hardware Unboxed, and he sort of just brought me into this whole 9900K temperature debate. And I noticed he was talking about Linus Tech Tips' temperatures on their 9900K review. And then I went and watched it and I thought, wow, that is a bit odd how they got 58 degrees on load and they didn't state the ambient temperatures, but they have since updated the comments section with a list of settings they used. So today we're gonna be doing two things. And since we do have the same motherboard that they used in their review, this is the Maximus Hero 11. And yes, I can finally read Roman numerals now too, by the way. We're gonna try and do some tests and show you guys the numbers that we're getting here, as well as taking a look at OC3D's numbers as well. Uh, Steve said they did seem a bit low as well. And now also another funny thing about this is we have a delittered chip here and we've also got a custom water loop. So if anything, the temperatures should be lower than what Linus Tech Tips was getting with their H115i water cooler that they used and also their settings. With all that aside, let's just dive right into it. So we've got here the 9900K, it's booted up at completely default settings. Uh, nothing has been changed this time uh, because this is what you would get if you bought this combination out of the box, minus a delittered chip and a custom water cooler, of course, use whatever you like. Uh, but we've got the same test up here, stress FPU, that's what they've said that they've used in the comments section. And we're gonna clear this here and then uh, just do a new run and we are at 24 degrees ambient temperatures here. So we're gonna hit start and uh, see what temperatures we get. But then also after that, we're gonna go into the BIOS and uh, then run some uh, of the settings that they ran and then jump back into Windows 2. Uh, but initially we can see here, we've already got temperatures that are above that of 58 degrees Celsius. Uh, we're moving somewhere closer to 70 degrees C and again, this is a delittered chip with a custom water loop, so it should run, and I already know it does run, cooler than a H115i on the uh, stock soldered chip. So we're back here after 10 minutes, and we can see the temperatures, they reached a maximum of 74 degrees. Uh, this is on stock settings, but what we're gonna quickly do now before we reset into the bus is go now to Cinebench, uh, but also the power consumption is oh, 142 watts. So that is pretty much in line with what Linus was getting in his review. He said 139 watts. So the stock settings seem about right. Uh, we'll quickly check the Cinebench scores. So we're now here in the BIOS and these are the main settings here that Linus quickly changed. They're all close to each other. XMP profiles were enabled. And then we go down here to the uh, multi-core enhancement. We check disabled, SVID behavior, Intel's fail safe. Lock that in. So we're gonna go now and reset this because they said everything else in the comment section is left on default. And then we're gonna jump back into Windows and see what temperatures we can get. So we've booted up into the uh, IDA64 test now with the settings that they've replicated in the comment section and we're doing the stress FPU hit start and our temperatures are easily worse straight away than they were when Linus tested um, his settings. So we're getting a max here of 78 degrees. That's what we hit just before. Um, but it seems like oddly enough, the temperatures have throttled however. So initially they bursted up to 78 but now they've gone down and they are hovering indeed around that 58 degree range. So I'm not sure if maybe they averaged the temperatures out and they just said, okay, this is what they're looking like they'll be around. And perhaps their ambient temperature degree were maybe five degrees lower at 20 degrees. That's a possibility. Um, but we'll quickly run a Cinebench score now for you guys and uh, check out what's going on with these settings locked in. Okay, so we've been running Cinebench. We previously recorded a quick segment, but we then re-ran the test and the results are actually all over the place with these settings. We're getting temperatures that'll sometimes stay under 60 degrees, but then they'll decide that they want to sort of break through this 95 watt threshold and then go to 150 watts power consumption. So it's weird with these settings, but most of the time we're getting Cinebench scores that are now around 1,750 points. 
So I'm not entirely sure what was going on with these settings used in their results. But regardless, what we're gonna do now is quickly uh, try and overclock this CPU and uh, replicate OC3D's uh, temperatures of 79 degrees. And then of course, jump to the big one, that's the conclusion. So we now overclock the CPU to five gigahertz. We're running IDA64 stress test across all the four different options here. And we're getting about max 89 degrees about two minutes in. Uh, so we're 10 degrees above uh, OC3D's overclock temperatures. We also got some really good Cinebench numbers as well with this five gigahertz overclock. So it is locked in stable with this particular CPU and motherboard. Uh, but with that said, let's jump over to a conclusion now. So in a nutshell, what I did here today with the testing, I couldn't replicate the results that Linus Tech Tips got nor OC3D got. But one thing I can tell you guys is, is that uh, I think this calls for more uh, information that needs to be detailed when reviewers do benchmarks because I couldn't find any ambient temperatures. And in the case of OC3D settings, on their website too, I couldn't find what tests they used to stress test. And also Linus had to uh, put the information in the comments section. But ultimately when it comes to results, I can only vouch what I see with my own eyes. And that's what happens here at my studio at TechS City. I can't go to Linus's Tech Tips office, it's all the way over in Canada, I believe, and say, hey guys, I validated the results. I don't know, I wasn't there, I don't know what happened. I believe some mistakes may have happened, uh, but again, I can't validate anything that happened on their side in terms of what numbers they got. I believe they just made some mistakes and um, they maybe might have overlooked some settings. It happens all the time since nowadays a lot of uh, tech reviewers, especially YouTubers, don't get enough time to review the products properly. And we've seen this with the RTX launch in particular where we got the product. I, I didn't even get the RTX 2070 until like literally the day after it was released and it rocked up on my doorstep. It's like, here, review it. And I'm like, well, I missed the boat. Uh, and so this kind of forces us to, I guess, maybe rush reviews and in the process make some mistakes. And I believe maybe that's what happened in the case of Linus Tech Tips is uh, at, over at their office. So, but in the case of OC3D and their results with their overclocking and the temperatures, I think they need to state more things like, again, ambient temperatures, and also what stress tests they used because I got no idea and I can't replicate it. For me personally, I use IDA64 with those four options checked because I've found in my personal experience when I do things like rendering 4K videos, the temperatures and the power consumption matches up very accurate to this stress test, hence why I use it the way I use it. Anyway guys, these are the results. Uh, stay tuned for the D-Lid video as well. This is kind of a spoiler for the D-Lid video. We already filmed that and um, yeah. That was going to be good, but you've sort of got a bit of a spoil now to that video. That's coming up soon, but delitting does make a bit of a difference. And we'll find out exactly some really cool results to be had. And if you enjoyed this video, then be sure to hit that like button, and I'll catch you in another tech video very soon. Peace out for now. Bye. And also go check out Steve from Hardware Unbox, his video. I'll put the link somewhere. I'll put all the links for all this stuff in the description. Mwah.